we are going to continue with our fourth section in our previous session we have validated the email and also we have seen if the fields are empty we should be getting this error message if you have not watched that video i suggest you to watch that video so whatever we are doing right now it will be easy for you to follow in this section what we are going to do whatever we have written here i am just going to remove this entire thing because you can see we have written multiple lines of code we have arrays we have so many things to wrap inside one container but we do not want to repeat our code you can see same condition i am checking if username is empty email is empty password is empty confirm password is empty so i do not want to repeat my code so for this we are going to create one function this entire thing i am just going to remove do not need this one now if you see here our code is little bit cleaner and also i will be removing this comment instead i am going to write function to validate all fields and i am going to give my function name as validate all inside this i will just write username now if i want to check for email again i have to call like this i have to write here email then password then confirm password this also i do not want to do if i am having 100 fields i do not want to call this function 100 times so what we will do all this input field we are going to wrap inside array so that using for each loop we can loop this multiple times i'm just going to write username next is our email password and finally confirm password okay these are the variables we have already created here so same variable name i'm just passing it here now above this event listener i am going to write function function to validate all fields below this i am going to write function validate all inside this i am just going to write input array as we are passing all the fields inside the array so i am just writing input array if you want you can give different name as well in our third section we have seen topics which are required in this project javascript topics so in that we have seen about for each loop for every element inside the array for each loop will be running for every element inside an array i am going to pass my parameter dot for each loop inside this for each loop we are going to pass the function whatever function i am writing inside this for each loop it is going to run for all these fields function for which field for this also we are going to pass one parameter because we have multiple fields we have username email password and confirm password now this input array is related to this one whatever fields we are passing and this input is for individual fields i will write here log J let me just write here input save this when i click on submit as of now i am not having any error messages because we have removed all those conditions i will open inspect now in console you can see as soon as i clicked on submit button i am having all these four input fields username password email and confirm password all these fields are displayed i will close this refresh this again again click on submit button you can see all these fields are visible how many times i click that many times i am going to get this input fields so each time whenever i click all these four input fields will be displayed i will comment this out below this we are just going to display the error message 
error message for all input fields i will write the same condition if my input dot value and also we are going to remove the spaces we have seen about trim method even after removing this if my fields are empty then i should be displaying error message console dot log error else i should be displaying success same i will write copy paste i'm just going to write success save this i will click on submit open console you can see four times i am having this error message now instead of writing this console we are writing our error message function so same way we have to pass our input field okay this is this one okay whatever parameter we have passed we are passing this first time username will be considered it is going to check for that second email third password and then confirm password and second is our message field let me just write here is required and here we are going to display our success message and inside this we are just going to pass our input field here also semicolon save this now when i click on this submit you can see this using this error message we are getting this error and if you notice here for all these input fields i am having same message here whatever i have given here same i am getting four times if i just write here username so first time this for each loop will be running for username so username it will be checked and i will be getting username is required again for email it will be run again same message i will be getting now if i just click on submit button you can see username is required username is required for all this thing i am having the same field name that is username but i do not want this one for every loop whatever is missing that value i should be getting in error so what we can do we can use javascript template literals here backticks i will remove and here also i'm just going to paste now inside this i will just write here dollar input field is our username let me just write here type save this if i come to index.html for this input field we are having different types now as soon as i click on submit button you can see text is required text is required text is required and password so whatever value we are having inside this type i am able to get that one so similarly for every input field we have given the id you can see we have given ids so easily we can just write instead of type we will write id save this now when i click here you can see username is required email is required password is required and confirm password is required so using this we are able to access the id and we are able to display that id here now if i just write something click on submit now only this border will be turning green now if i come to my demo project if i just write something here click on submit you can see username must be at least six characters and if you closely notice here every first character is in capital letter you can see username but in my demo project all these first characters you can see it is in small letters so what we will do we are going to create another function in that first letter of every word we are going to make it as capitalize i am going to create function and function name let me just write here upper case letter for this also we are going to pass input field and what i want to extract i want to extract the first character 
so this function is going to return input field id's first character char at i am going to pass 0 save this let me just copy this function and inside this i am just going to wrap that function and inside this function we are just passing our input i will remove save this now this input field is our username email password and confirm password so when i pass this username here i am getting username id that is username in small letters i am just extracting that now when i just click on submit you can see only first character i am able to extract now this character i want to display in upper case to upper case save this click on submit now all these letters are in capital you can see all first letters are in capital now what i want to do i want complete username should be displayed and rest characters from input id we are just going to slice out i will add here same input dot id i will be slicing out and i'm just going to write one so now what happens first character that is first character whichever it was displayed that will be removed from here and we will get suppose if i take an example of username i will get scrnam from this i am going to get scrnam and from this i got you both we are adding and we are displaying it here basically both we are concatenating and we are just displaying it here and if you are not aware how to slice how to do caret in our third section we have already seen all these topics now when i just click on submit you can see username is required email is required password is required and also confirm password is required so this is very important to understand to capitalize first letter we are just writing this simple function and this function we are just passing here so that we get this dynamic error message next session we are going to see the length of every letters we are going to do password matching as of now for email if i just add some something here when i click on submit it will be turning to green it is not going to validate the email because directly we are displaying the error message now nowhere we are calling this email check function and we are checking for email next session we are going to cover all these topics